Which statement describes beta decay in terms of a quark model? So what happens in the beta decay? So beta decay, you kind of have to know that in a in a in a in a, in a nucleus, ah, the proton number increased by one. But 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 why? Here's an example of a decay we looked at. So thorium nine ninety become ninety one. But look at the nuclear number never change. Oh. So the truth is, what happens in a beta minus decay is that a neutron suddenly or oh, by magic, no la, by laws of the universe, become a proton. So the nuclear number is still the same. It's just that now you suddenly have a charge appear. So neutron, the quark composition is up, down, down. Proton is up, up, down. What's the difference? Who changed? You look carefully at the diagram, up, down, down. Mm, this one, you see this fella? Down suddenly become up. So we can conclude that a down quark suddenly transform into a up quark. I know the universe is a bit weird, but it's our world. It happens, but we don't see it. So we look and see where is it down, become up, okay, down, become up, okay. And the rest is wrong. And what comes out? Well, this thing is what we call an electron. Beta minus is a fancy name for electron. So electron come out and anti neutrino come out also. So best choice is A. Okay, so this is for beta minus. A side note, if you have beta plus, this particle is called a positron. It's like the antimatter of electron. What happens in the beta plus decay when a nucleus undergoes is now it's opposite already. Proton become a neutron. So in other words, a uh, up quark become a down quark because proton is up up down, neutron is up down down. Okay, so kind of you can memorize these facts. My head's a little bit blocking. Memorize this fact and make sure you know your decays. Uh, the anti-neutrino and neutrino are kind of like extra things that come out in a decay. So let's see if we have... Ah, this is a good example. Let's say we have this decay. Ah. This beta is matter. Uh, is a matter. Lah. Neutrino. So that means the other friend that come out have to be anti-neutrino. Anti-matter. Okay, I won't say neutrino. Anti-neutrino. Oh, this one. Neutrino that is the opposite. This is antimatter. You can apply this for new neutron. Not neutron. What am I saying? Beta decays when it happens. So if you have something else, like you have a beta plus decay, this is plus one, zero. And what will come out there? This one is antimatter already. Electron wave or positive one, miss? Yes, in the alternate evil twin. Yes, positive electron. Also known as positron. So that means if this one already empty, then this one would give a normal matter, okay? So this is just neutrino. Okay, so that's all for this question. Go and learn some of your particles. We'll see you in the next video.